Well, let's go ahead and worship him. Give him glory, give him honor. Give him adoration. Bless the King of Kings. Bless the Lord of Lords. Bless the ancient of days. Give him glory. Give him honor. Let him hear your voice. It's worthy to be praised. It's worthy to be adored. Praise him for yourself. And then praise him. On my behalf. Worship him. Give him glory. If you go full. Give him adoration. If he is just a fool. There's no one like him. Because he told that be right. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Oh God, if you allow us, we bless you. I I do pray, Lord, that I be confirmed all over. You are worthy to be praised. You are loyal, lady. Accept our worship. King of glory, we worship you. May you be glorified forever and ever. Thank you for life, Lord. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you because there's no one like you. Thank you, ancient of days. May your name forever be glorified. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you because you always answer prayers. Thank you for prayers you have answered in the past. Thank you for prayers you will answer tonight. I do down Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory be to your name, Lord. Thank you Father. Baba Thank you so, so much. I say, giddy, giddy.
Oh Lord, thank you. Only why show. Thank you. Show. Thank you. Show. In Jesus mighty name we have given thanks. Ni oruko nla Jesu ni ajo sun yi. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. We give you all the glory. We give you honor. Amen. We give you Jesus, we give you of days we uh, worship you uh, the unchangeable changer we bow before you the god of last year uh, we worship uh, you the god of this year we bow before you the god of our future glory be to your name accept our worship in jesus name thank you for all you've done for us in the past thank you for the holy ghost service Thank you for 38 years of your faithfulness. Thank you for uncountable number of miracles, signs, and wonders. And thank you because we know you are not tired. As a matter of fact, we know that you reserve the best in the last. So we know our future will be better than our past. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Tonight, in a way only you can do it. Carry all of us. Carry our families. Carry our 
carry our burdens. Carry our businesses. Carry your church. And please carry our nations. Let our tomorrow be all right. And let your name be glorified. Daddy. Baba. Like I told you 38 years ago. I want a miracle for every member of my congregation. Let nobody live here without a testimony. All your children, all over the world, including those who, for one reason or other, just can't be here. Before the sun rises tomorrow, let everybody have a testimony. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, shake hands with one or two people. Tell them. Tell them. You won't go home without a testimony. Amen. Oh, ni lo lai ni eri tie. Amen. Without a testimony. Oh, ni lo lai ni eri. And then you may please be seated. Let you know do eje ajoko. Thank you. Glory be to God. Oh God, if you Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Daddy. I think they just want to announce that I've just turned 82. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. None of you will die young. 
And you will be greater than I. Amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, all children of March. <laughs> Remain standing and shout hallelujah. My father, my God, I commit all your children born in the month of March into your hands. March is the third month of the year. Oshuketa, Odoyi. Three is the number of the Trinity. The number keta, only number ati metalokon. The number of power. The number ati akbara. The number of the Almighty. Number ati olon olodumare. So, Father, in your name, I decree concerning this, your children born in the month of March. Let their miracles be in triples. God the Father, favor them. God the Son, favor them. God the Holy Spirit favor them. Give them a brand new beginning of triple testimonies of everything that is glorious. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So, children of March, shout another hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. And you may please be seated. As of 7.30 p.m., a number of children born during this special legal service on the camp here stands at 16 hmm. 11 boys 5 girls let the boys shout praise the Lord Let the girls shout hallelujah. <laughs> Tomorrow, by the grace of God, by 11 a.m., there be ministrations of laying on of hands here. Yeah? Here as well as in the old auditorium. Those who want hands laid on them for one thing or the other. I want to one Including baptism in the Holy Spirit. If I'm the senior pastors will be here and on the other side to minister to you. Tomorrow evening, by 7 p.m., there will be Holy Communion service and anointing service here. So you're all welcome. Next month, April is our special month for our children. We 
when we anoint our children at least once a year for special protection against forces of darkness. We will not only be anointing the children, we will be anointing their parents too. And make sure that you come early. Because from experience, the moment the devil discovered that we are doing that, he had a way of causing heavy traffic jam everywhere to prevent the children from arriving. So you come early. As soon as they finish in school, bring them. They have enough room to play around till the evening. The theme that God has given us for next month. It's it's very, very informative. It is called Shielded by Fire. So uh, I'm looking forward to what the Almighty God will do concerning us as well as our children. Yesterday, we, we had an extraordinary night. I know some of you, many of you were not around. But God visited us in a very marvelous way through our children. The preaching were definitely beyond their age. And I've prayed about it. And the Lord has asked me to suspend my series that I have been doing on Sunday, Sundays uh, afternoons. But for four Sundays in a row, we should take one of these children and let them repeat. Amen. We pay for us a merry back even those of us who are here will be glad to hear them one more time. Awati My former driver is the one who gave the first testimony. <laughs> He's now an elder in the church. One of the various testimonies he was trying to rush over. The Lord ministered to me to tell the first one clearly. Some of you have had it before. We are traveling to Ilorin. And there was this narrow bridge over a very deep river there. We can only take one vehicle at a time. So when you get to that narrow bridge, if a vehicle is already on the bridge, you park and wait. So we got to the bridge, and we were on it already. 
And the trailer was coming from the other side. Oko ajagbe o wa nbo lai odikeji wa. Either he didn't see us. Boya ko ri wa ni o. Or his brake couldn't hold. Tabi janu re ti jadanu. He just kept coming. O sa nbo ni tara at high speed. Be lu ere light e da se ro. And the bridge can only take one vehicle at a time. Oko nye afara yi oko konsusu lukba le kan. So we had a choice. I don't die nyan. Either to die by head on collision. Yukbe boya ka aku ni pa kpe ki oko nye ka sorry marawa. Or if we swerve either way we will go into the deep river there and die. So Abika, you was said well to that. We said well, see, because it can't do do. Can't put in no me. There was no time to pray a long prayer. Go see a coco lati badura to go repete. There was only time to shout a name. Oh, a coco kon wa lati daruko konsusoni. So we shouted. Ni awa kibe. He shouted, I shouted. We met the trailer in the middle of the road. And somehow we passed. He didn't wait. He was just. Going. When we got to the other side of the bridge, we were so shaken that the driver parked. was shaking. Fortunately, he didn't look back. Because I was shaking myself. By the time he spoke, I've calmed down. He said, Daddy, what happened? I said, God expanded the bridge. He said, wonderful. And all the way to Ilori, he kept on saying, wonderful. I said, that's his name. Ah. Wonderful. That I'm alive today. is because his name is Wonderful. Oni we pay ni to ripe oruko re nje iyanu. Lord wants me to tell somebody here tonight. Olorun wa ni kin so fun enikan ni iloni. Because you came. Ni to ripe o wa very soon. Like be like you know. You be shouting Wonderful. Wama kibe lojo juma iyanu iyanu iyanu. If you are that fellow, let me hear you shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go baje iwole ni na kengo koki hallelujah tori le. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, Shewu. Now. Listen to you. Exodus chapter 19. Exodus. Ori And uh, while you are opening your Bibles, I think we should give the Almighty God a big round of applause for the choir. They have never disappointed. Never, not once. 
Very just wonderful choir. I want going to the one you and then give a round of applause for those who have spoken before me. And see, they can't do that. They won't laugh one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, two. Thank God that you had to use them mightily. I do well, can't do well, I want to go to the one, you know, I tell no, you know. And thank God that uh, if the devil comes knocking at your door, you know what to say. What will you say? What if death comes knocking? You know the meaning of that? Yeah, I will see you next year. Oh, All right. Exodus chapter 19. I will read from verse 1. And then jump to verse 3. And go to verse all the way to verse 6. In the third month, which month? Which month is this one? <laughs> In the third month, let's jump to verse 3. And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel. Moses, he go keto lono lo, oluwasi kosi lati oke na wa we pay. Ba yini ki wo ki oso fun ile Jacobu ki osi we fun a wama Israeli we. You have seen what I did unto the Egyptians and how I bear you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. E yinti ri o ti moti she si a wama ara Egypti. Ati bi moti runi li akpa ye iti. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Listen to ye, be ye 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 and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And Israeli. My children who spoke yesterday. I've done a lot of work. What is she takun takun? So they have made my task easy. This Once it take is she te miko run ulale. If they find who the ego is. What is soften why any t idi na she idi idi. Then we are not talking of ordinary bird. We're talking about the Almighty Himself. I've spoken to you about how strong the ego is. I've spoken to you about how far the ego can see. I've spoken to you about how fast the ego can be. Once it's often will be Oshile Yarato Lati Riati Lati Sare. I've spoken to you about how long it takes before the ego becomes tired. Once it's often will be Oshile Rito, I be Oshile Sareto Koto Re. I've spoken a lot about the ego and the ego's wings. Once it's often will be Oshile Yarato Lati Riati Lati Sare. 
That's why we need to hear their sermons again. But what I want to discuss is that we will just go back to the history of the children of Israel. And see what led to the statement that God has made here. To let you see clearly that this theme is very prophetic. And God has somebody in mind. Just someone special. Someone peculiar to God. And that's why. He arranged this meeting. And I believe that that fellow will know himself or herself. And within the next one hour, by the grace of God, that fellow would have traveled a long distance. Amen. When God was about to bring the children of Israel to himself on eagles' wings, he could hear him talking to Moses in Exodus chapter 3. He told Moses, he said, Moses, the, the reason I'm come is because I have seen the children of Israel. I have seen their sufferings. I have heard their cry. I know what they are going through. So I have come to deliver them. Tonight, the first thing God is going to let you realize is that at long last he has noticed you. Because when we talk about seeing There is ordinary sin, there is noticing. In John chapter 5, from verse 2 to 9, John 5, 2 to 9, there was a crowd by the pool of Bethesda. Bethesda. God noticed only one person. Somebody who had been there for 38 years. The Bible said when Jesus Christ saw him, he noticed him. And when God notices you, your life can never remain the same. He noticed a man who had been sick for 38 years. And 
that day that man was healed lojo yen gan 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 ni okunrin na ri iwo san regba in mark chapter 2 from verse 1 to 12 iwe mark ori keji ese ikini si keji la mark 2 from verse 1 to 12 mark ori keji ese ikini si keji la when they brought that man who was paralyzed from neck downwards nipa ti won gbe okunrin na wa to ti ro laparo lese lati orun wo through the roof to Jesus Christ. Lati ori orule won ti Josu kale si odo Jesu. The Bible says Jesus saw their faith. Bibeli so wi pe Jesu ri igbagbo won. He saw the invisible. O ri ohun ti oju lasan o le ri. They carry that man in, he walked out. Walk won gbe wole ni supe sare lo fi rin jade. In John chapter 9. Ni we Johannu ori ikesan. Verse 1 to 7. Ese kini si keje. John 9 from verse 1 to 7. Johannu ori ikesan, ese kini si keje. I was a man who was born blind. Eni kan be ti abi ni afoju. I've been blind for 40 years. Oh di di ogoji odun lo nfi foju. As Jesus passed by. Bi Jesus se nkoja lo. He saw him. Ori he noticed him before the day was out that man was singing a new song that man was able to say whether jesus is a sinner or not i don't know but one thing i know whereas i was blind now i see when god notices you things change and you know what he has noticed somebody here tonight. Maybe he noticed you while you were worshipping him. Because the Bible says he's looking for worshippers. Somebody had worshipped God more than others and God had noticed maybe he had noticed you while you were praying maybe he had noticed you when you were giving your offering when he notices you things can never be the same again the almighty god has noticed someone and he's going to notice another one yes to feel me no told you this story most of it for you we in the first auditorium. And it was time to pray. And I said everybody should be praying to God. And so I closed my eyes too because yeah. I need help from God. Suddenly God said to me, son, open your eyes. I almost told him, Lord, I'm praying. When I opened my eyes, he pointed at a woman in the crowd. Oh, one now, you will be reconciling a row. Wet with tears. He said to me, Go and tell her, weep not. I went there. Molobe. Tapped her by the soldier. I said to her, My daddy asked me to tell you, Daddy, meaning so weep not. And suddenly, her eyes brightened up. I didn't know why she was weeping. I just did what God asked me to do. The, the following year, 
There was a group of people lined up before me. And one by one, I was attending to her, to them. And one by one, I was attending to her, to them. Then it was the turn of this woman. He says, sir, you don't remember me? I'm sorry, ma. How many people will I remember? She said, I was the one who was weeping. And your God told me to stop weeping. She said, for years I was barren. And I came to that meeting with a threat from my, uh, from my in-laws that if I don't give their son a child within a year, they will kick me out of the house. She said, that's why I was weeping. I looked at her. I saw on her right hand, she was carrying a baby. On the left, she was carrying another baby. May I prophesy to someone tonight? Stop weeping. Amen. Because God has noticed you. You may want to write down your prayer points. Of course, prayer point number one is you want to thank the Almighty God. That we are able to make it tonight. And then your prayer point number two. Father, Baba, when you are calling others, don't pass me by. Don't pass me by tonight. Notice me. Notice me. Notice me tonight. The second thing that God said. When after he said, I've seen the children of Israel. I've seen what I've seen the, the, how the Egyptians were treating them. Number two, he said, I have heard their cry. If God is going to carry you on eagle's wings, it can only mean that he had heard your cry. When God hears your cry for help, he sends help. In Mark chapter 10, from verse 46 to 52, Mark 10, 46 to 52, Batmeos cried, and God heard him. Several people tried to shut him up. But he kept on crying. Until God had him. I believe God is about to hear the prayer of somebody tonight. Amen. to hear the prayer of somebody tonight. Because when he hears you, he turns the tide. In 2 Kings chapter 4, from verse 1 to 7, 2 Kings 4, from verse 1 to 7, there was this widow who was destitute. The creditors have said, if you don't pay within 24 hours, we sell your sons. I want you to correct any basis. It's okay to you, but so we were lying. You're joking. I tell you, she cried. Okay, God had a long book by the end of the day. Look, 
The creditors were put to shame. Uh, do duty and when it want to get any person. In Jeremiah 33, verse 3. He will Jeremiah or he get a little more. I say, get a Jeremiah 33, verse 3. He will Jeremiah or he get a little more. I say, get a God says, if you cry, or was a pity or back in people, I will answer you. A mule bore a I will show you. A great and mighty things. If you see, when God hears your prayer, He responds by showing you how mighty He is. He uses all His might to respond to you. Unfortunately, it's not every time people cry to him that he hears. Because it's not Because he says you must call on the Lord while he's near. Fortunately, it's near tonight. And when you cry to him tonight, he will respond. Some of you remember the story of the man who was a cripple. And his friends carried him here. In the old auditorium, the crowd was many. I will rose it for me. And so, by the time they arrived, miracles were already happening around the altar. And his friends dropped them at the back of the auditorium. They told them, We've already brought you here. We can carry you through the crowd. They drop them. And he cries to God. God, I'm here. They've dropped me here. Let I know you know I am here. God had. And immediately God spoke to me from the altar. God said, There's someone there. Who said, God, you see me here? God asked me to tell him. Yes, I've seen you. And immediately. His leg straightened out. He was able to get up. He was beginning to dance. When the program was over, his friends came to look for him where they dropped him. They couldn't find him there. So he tapped them from behind. Are you looking for me? I saw one here tonight. By tomorrow morning. It's not where they left you that they will find you. You want to write down your prayer point number three? Let it be like my own usual prayer. Father, Baba, if you are going to answer two people here tonight, let me be one of them. Let, let that be your next prayer. If we're going to hear and answer two people here tonight, let me be one of them. 
Then the third thing that happened before God sent the eagle, before God sent the eagle, is that he told Moses, I have seen, I have heard, and I know. I know their sufferings. The Almighty God wants somebody to know tonight that He knows what you are passing through. He knows what are your problems. He knows what are your bodies. He knows the battle you are fighting that you cannot possibly win alone. And whenever God knows you, what you are going through, after noticing you, after hearing your cry, He intervenes. In Mark chapter 5, from verse 20 to 20, from, from verse 2 to 20, rather. Mark 5, 2-20. Do you know the madman of Gadara didn't pray? When he saw Jesus coming, before he could say anything, he saw Jesus, he fell at his feet, by the time he opened his mouth, that line of restaurant. The demons inside began to talk. And when me shooting Ben no ayer and Lopera sin is sorry that day. They didn't allow him to ask for help. But Jesus knew what was going on. And he intervened. Tonight, the God. You have been serving all these days. Because who knows the problems you can't even share? It's going to intervene. Amen. God knows when your case is beyond human help. In a situation like that, you know, he pays you a visit. In Genesis 18, you know, from verse 1 to 14, Genesis 18, 1 to 14. Genesis 18, 1 to 14. Thank you, Father. Amen. The Lord has me to tell someone. I will deal with your enemies head on. In Genesis 18, 1 to 4. 1 to 14. God knew that as for Abraham and Sarah. Their case had gone beyond human help. It was going somewhere. But he stopped in front of their tent to rectify their situation. God knows that there are some of us. Our situation we defy even the faith of the pastor. In Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 10. 
Ezekiel 37 from verse 1 to 10. Ezekiel ori keta di ni ogoji ese kinide kewa. When God has Ezekiel. Da ti Olorun bere lowo Ezekiel. Can this dry bones live? She awon egugu gbigbe yi le tun pada ye bi. The great man of God said, God only thou knows. Okunrin akula Olorun ni eyan Olorun yi so pe Oluwa iwo nikan lo mo. The God knows. Lo to Olorun mo. He knows what you are passing through. Even if your problem is beyond what any pastor can handle. God will intervene tonight. I told you the story of a woman who was barren for several years and the pastor had been praying and praying one day the pastor said woman what's your case because every other barren fellow I prayed for they are already rejoicing with their children and the woman said oh when I was a student, I became pregnant, and I tried to abort. By the time I got to the hospital, to save my life, the doctors took out my womb. The pastor said, you mean you have no womb? And you've been asking me to pray for you to be pregnant. She said, Pastor, you are the one who said with God nothing shall be impossible. <laughs> Pastor said, I see. Thank you. From that day onward, when the pastor sees, I mean, saw her coming, the pastor would judge. One day the woman caught the pastor. Dodging her. And she turned her face away from pastor to God. I cried unto God. I'm coming to you directly now. Not, not through the pastor. Help me. That night she had a dream. She was standing naked in the dream. And a huge man came in through the door. Holding the skin of an animal. She was so frightened she couldn't move. The man got close to her. And wrapped the skin of the animal around her waist. And disappeared. By the following day, she woke up already menstruating. By the last time I think we heard from her, she already had five children. When your case is beyond any human assistance the God who knows we send help Amen. and help is coming the way of somebody tonight Amen. so you write down your next prayer point and say, Father, you know all about me. Intervene. Intervene. And then the next thing that happened. 
As I God now told Moses. Okay, I've I've seen. Motiri. I've heard. I know what's going on. I have come to deliver. When God has noticed you and had your cry, knows what you are going through, He brings deliverance. And the Almighty God is bringing deliverance to somebody tonight. Occasionally, my children will say, The one who says a proper amen, God, attend to the fellow. The deliverance God brought to Israel was a violent one. In Exodus chapter 12, you know, from verse 1 to 36, Exodus 12, from verse 1 to 36, before he could carry them on eagle's wings, go to the alone, we lori he subdued their enemies. Oh, Terry, I want to He gave them something that they cannot toy with. Oh, for one new team, only fishery, rather. In Yoruba land, when they want to say that your enemy is uh, subdued, they say the fellow has been given something that he will worship. They've given him a problem so big he won't have time for you. The Egyptians had to beg the children, please go, or we are all dead. God made a promise in Isaiah chapter 49. From verse 24 to 26. Isaiah 49. Isaiah Ori Kokondini a daughter. From verse 24 to 26. God made a promise. Allah He said, even the lawful captive shall be set free. He said, if, if those who had held you captive will not release you. He said he will give them their own flesh to eat. He will give them their own blood to drink. Thank you, Father. Amen. I see a crowd moving towards the house of somebody here. See one lossy and they were shouting as they were going. Once in King Baby wants a law. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, if you are the one, let me hear you shout your own hallelujah now. Yeah, God, you okay, hallelujah, yeah. When God wants to deliver, and the enemy is reluctant, he uses force.
Some of you probably heard it, the story. A man came here from Abekuta with his wife. A man came here from Abekuta with his wife. He said, everything you ever tried to do, no progress, no success. And he has discovered that the wife is a witch. She's the one stopping his progress. So he has brought her for deliverance. The woman was very angry. Don't mind him, sir. It is his mother who is a witch, not me. I mean, she was very angry. So I said, Please don't let us quarrel. I mean, don't mind your husband. Let's do it this way. If you are not a witch, everything in your life will just keep on getting better. That's my prayer. And if you are a witch, I'm going to bind the demon in you. And God had revealed to me that it was a snake inside her. You, you dare not say that because if she sues you, the snake will not appear on X-ray. I said, I'm not saying you are a witch. Or... But do you agree that we bind any evil force that is in you, we, just in case? Don't be able, the thing inside, we won't be able to go out to feed. We won't be able to go out to excrete. So if it is bound, it will be eating you from inside, excreting in you. But then, of course, I mean, since you are not a witch anyway. So he said, yeah, go ahead, pray. We prayed. By the time the husband brought her back, she had become almost twice as big or even more. Then she was ready for deliverance. Every force that has been troubling you because God wants to take you on eagle's wings. God will deal with them violently tonight. Number five. Oh, uh, your prayer for number four. Is our father? Whatever method you have to use to deliver me. Do it tonight. Whatever method. Oh, no, no, no. Just set me free to Oh, Timbo, money, people, fair boy, to me, sell a lay. Number five. Coco Caron. When God finally picks you up on Eagle's wing, think about your little bag, Bill, Lori, yay, D. Look, we will go. It takes you to a point where you are beyond the reach of the enemy. Number six. After he picked up the children of Israel, 
after delivering them violently. Lay it out if you back down when he did to come on la. And they try to follow them. One walk, you know, one big and would tell you one. By the time we got to Exodus chapter 14. But I have my dinner with Exodus 14. Exodus 14. Exodus 14. From verse 1 to 28. Moses has spoken the, the mind of God to them. Moses is so. He said, The enemies you have seen up to tonight. He said, You will never see them again. When God picks you up on eagle's wings, it takes you to a position so high that you are far, far beyond the touch of the enemy. Uh, my children have dealt with that yesterday. They talked about you being so high that from there you'll be dealing with the enemies below. So I'm not going to waste time on that. I'll probably just move on. And I just give you just one illustration. Again, a couple came to church at the Butemeta. And after some time, we were seeing only the brother, the sister wasn't coming. And we followed up. Thank you, Father. Bye bye, show. I can hear somebody. Here tonight, boy, the very soon, like your shouting will be at last, at last, at last. I had to interrupt my story because, <laughs> because that one is more important. So we followed up. Sister, why are we not seeing you in church? And your husband is coming. She's getting happier by the day. She said, Oh, we pay. Oh, we pay. Since I started coming to your church, I could no longer fly at night. Oh, ah. And I decree to somebody here tonight, if there's any witch in your family, from tonight onward, they won't fly again. Amen. <laughs> So he sees, Ori, he hears, Omba, he knows, Oma, he delivers violently. Oh, he brings you to a level where enemies can't touch you anymore. Water, Oma. And number six, Ekefa. It causes you to reach your, your goal speedily. In Genesis chapter 41, Genesis, Ori, One of my children referred to it yesterday. Genesis 41 from verse 1 to 44. Genesis, a slave who was a prisoner was carried by the eagle's wings 
in less than 24 hours to the throne just yes. carry it speedily God can grab you from the very, very lowest point on earth and put you on the throne. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, Samuel Kini Ori Keji. 1 Samuel chapter 2, Samuel Kini Ori Keji. Verse 8. He says he can pick a beggar from the dunk hill. Cause him to begin now to dine with kings. Or maybe you are not 100% on the, on the ground. Maybe you are already great. It's just that he knows you are not complete. Your joy is not full. He can grab you and move you from great to complete. So that your joy suddenly becomes full. In 2 Kings chapter 4, Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Daddy says, Daddy so we pray. I have surprised doctors before. I have turned doctors' reports before. He said, my son, allow me to do it again tonight. Stop your sermon for five minutes. And let the people worship me. So, are you ready to cooperate with them? Will you stand and just worship God and see him tearing doctor's reports? Will you please I just go ahead and worship the Almighty God and, and give Him glory and give Him honor? Will you go ahead and just sing unto Him and dance to Him and magnify His holy name? Will you please just go ahead and do that and do that? And, and let him do what he alone can do. Worship him. Sing unto him. Think of your own song. Your own song of worship, your own song of praise. Magnify his holy name. Just go ahead, worship him. Let him destroy reports of the doctors. Let him cancel the report about you having cancer or, or high blood pressure or, or asthma or diabetes. Let's give him the opportunity to do what he alone can do. Oh, we bless you, Lord. You're holy. Forever you are God. I worship you, my God. I magnify your holy name. There's no one like you. Blessed be your holy name, Lord.
Let yokes be destroyed, Lord. Heal the sick, my Father and my God. Do what we alone can do. Turn the tide against the enemy. Prove that we are the Lord of us one more time. Let your people know that you are the Almighty. Move, O oh Lord. <laughs> oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Just keep on doing what we alone can do, my Father and my God. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my Father, my God, blessed be your holy name. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Ramoshekerele Ramakakoto Runde Moko Shanta Ekekere Moko Runde Remoko Runde Ramoko Koshekere Moko Tunde Ramakatanda Ekere Moko Runde Ramahi Ekere Moko Shekere Moko Koro Moko Shanta Hallelujah Hallelujah my Father Hallelujah God Glory be to your Holy Name Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, I praise you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, my King. Hallelujah, my Savior. Hallelujah, I sing. And glorify your name. Hallelujah, my Lord. Hallelujah, my King. Hallelujah, my Savior. Hallelujah, I sing. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are. When you are just saying, let me hear you shout a really, really big hallelujah. Please be seated. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, is shown. Daddy asked me to tell you. Daddy, Nikin Sofuo. That the testimonies that will come as a result of tonight will be more than we have ever had before. Thank you, Daddy. Well, I, I, I was saying that God can pick you from great to complete. In Second King chapter four. <laughs> uh, now listen to me very carefully. The Lord says there's someone here right now. Very soon. Like you will come to me. You will, you will come to your Daddy Gio. And say, Daddy, Daddy, 
this breakthrough is more than I can handle. Aluyoyi, o koda yi ti pa mi ni kan kale ka. Is there any major project in the church that I can take care of? In there, ise la kan be lowo lowo ti ninu ijo ti mo le doju ko kin se. This breakthrough is more than I can handle. Ir aluyo yi oju on ti mo le dak lo koju lo. I would love to receive that, but uh, <laughs> he said it's me. They will become me to to ask. Daddy, la wan va fe ke uja wan la wan balé suba to do ko don wan la lo. How many of you believe that that can ever happen to you? Amen. Me lo lo ba go pe iwo ni olorun ba wi ni. Hey, if you believe that one, well, let me hear you roar hallelujah. Ba je wo ni le yi pe hallelujah. Anyway, if he doesn't want me to tell the story about the Shunammite woman. You know the story of the Shunammite woman. Anyway. The story of the Shunammite woman. She was already great. But she was barren. In a single day, a barrenness was taken care of. She was already great. And our joy became full. A lot of you are already great. And there's one thing that is not allowing your joy to be full. In the name of the one who sent me. As a result of tonight's meeting. Very, very soon. Like your joy will overflow. So when God carries you on eagle's wings, let me just make this one more point. It causes you to have sweatless success. Oh ma funi a se yori lai lagun Oh before that your prayer point for the last one Koko ebe adura yin fun ta nta koko so saju Is a father Oni wi pe baba Let my joy be full Je ki ayo mi o di kikun Let my joy be full Ki ayo mi okun Point number seven, when he carries you on eagle's wings, it causes you to have sweatless success. You can succeed after a lot of struggles. He plays a curse on Adam. Adam so in the sweat of your face, that shall you eat. But when God carries you on eagle's wings, you succeed without sweating. <laughs> you reach your goal effortlessly. Like I said before, you were somebody wanting to go to Ibadan, you, you can trek from Lagos to Ibadan, you will arrive. You can even ride a bicycle, you will arrive. But when God carries you, it's like traveling in an aeroplane. You arrive. 
Fresh. No sweat at all. You know, I believe sincerely that as a result of what God will do in your life tonight, your colleagues will soon be coming to ask you how do you do it? When the children of Israel were going to overcome their enemies by the Red Sea, Moses said to them, Just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. In Second Chronicles chapter 20, from verse 1 to 30, Second Chronicles 20 from verse 1 to 30, three kings came against Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat did not fight at all. Jehoshaphat and he won because the enemies destroyed themselves. In 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 to the end, 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 1 to the end, when the man of God prophesied, that be within 24 hours, food will be so plenty, nobody will want to buy. The people didn't fight. They won without a fight. One of the stories in the Bible that I like so much. Well, that Solomon was going about his own business in the palace. Just having a nice time. And uh, one fellow was declaring himself to be king. Unknown to Solomon. Solomon and then there was a little politics in Palam, in, in the palace. The next thing Solomon saw was that he has become king. He didn't do anything about it, he just became king. He succeeded without a sweat. The name that's above every other name. I decree to somebody here tonight. Even before you get to the door, it will open unto you. Amen. 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 Okay, thank you, Lord. Amen. What is it that? God requires from you. Oh, you may want to add your next prayer point. I said, Father, from now on, in my life, no more sweating. I want sweatless success. What is it that God wants from you? Number one, faith. You see, because when the eagle comes, 
spreads his wings. I say, come on, climb on, climb on me. How you react is important. You may say, uh -uh. <laughs> uh, leave. What are you trying to do? You want to carry me into the air? No, oh, leave me on the ground here. The Bible said the jaw shall live by faith. You know, it took a lot of faith for the children of Israel to pass through the Red Sea. The Bible said the water was a hill on their right, it was the and a hill on their left. So Moses said, Now go forward. Moses of Moka, they could have said, Eh, is so ha go into the middle of this thing. What if the water comes back? They move forward by faith. God will require faith from you tonight. Because the Bible said the judge shall live. By faith. You all know the story of my coming here. When I asked God for a house, and He says He has promised, He's decided to build me a city. And then brought me here. And we bought a little more than two acres, hectares here. And he said, that's the city. At the headquarters of highway robbers, among pythons and poisonous snakes, no electricity, no water. But he said that's the city. And I jumped by faith. We are where we are now. By faith. And we haven't arrived yet. We're going further still. And Lord, see what you see. You're going to need faith tonight. Because the judge shall live by faith. And of course, the second thing he will need from you is a determination that from now on. For your own sake, you will live a life of holiness. Because the ego that wants to carry you is the holy one of Israel. It won't allow any unclean things to climb him. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hello, I'm Mr. Tell somebody. You have suffered very heavy losses. He asked me to tell you your remnant. Shall soon become massive. Uh, I think I can say amen to this one. Amen. 
Because God has me to tell someone what the enemy planned for your embarrassment shall turn out to be your greatest testimony. God said in First Peter chapter 1 from verse 15 to 16 First Peter 1 15 to 16 He said I see who has called you is holy so be ye holy in all manner of your conversations. For it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. The reason he wants you to be holy is so that you can climb on the Holy One. So that he can carry you. I know that my son had made an altar call. And several of you had given your life to Jesus. And I'm extremely happy. But there might be some of us here who didn't decide that. Ah, holiness is for your own, for your own good. You are me, man. You told me I'm funny. Tara, any not for God. Ni kiche to ri to long. He wants you to be holy so he can carry you. Ofe ko jemi mo ko umbali be oni. And there are some of us. I want me in Benno wa. That we claim that we are already born again. And we are still living in sin. Uh, you are not deceiving the pastor. You are deceiving yourself. And you are cheating yourself. So if, so if you know you are not living holy. I'm giving you one more chance. Come and surrender your life to Jesus. God has nothing to lose. It's the sinner who is going to be the loser. I close with this story that you know very well. The woman came. Baren. And said, I, I've heard that when I come to you and you pray, oh, oh I will become pregnant. Rewind the first auditorium. She came, we prayed. The following year, she came back and said, What's happening? Everything they said will happen. You lay hands on me. I even fell under the power. And God asked me to ask her. And I asked her trembling. It was an important looking woman. She said, I'm sorry, it's only God who said I should ask you. Beside your husband. How many boyfriends have you? And she says six. You have six, six concubines apart from your husband. And you want a miracle from my God? From the only one of Israel? What you need is a magic, not a miracle. You are here tonight. 
You want to ride on the eagle's wings? So si fe kun iye idi. And you know o si mo daju that you are still living, you are still living in sin. Pe inu ese lo tin mukun. When you hear others testify, you will say, I was there that night. How come nothing happened to me? So I beg you, if you really, really want to surrender your life to Jesus, or you are a backslider and you want to return to Jesus. Come to the altar now. I'm not talking of those who had already come. I'm talking of those who might not be here when the altar call was made. Or backsliders. I'm going to count from 1 to 12. Before I say 12, please come and stand before the altar. We will pray for your salvation and pray for restoration. I'm counting now. One. Two. Three. You might be the only one. Don't wait for anybody. Only a get to read. See any kind of you want to see. Man, do any kind of you. Two. A G. Thank you, those of you who are clapping. Your hands will never wither. Barely a war you need raw. Three. Eta. Four, Eri. Five, Anu. Six. F seven. A J eight. A J. Nine. A song. Ten. Ewa. Eleven. Okola. Hurry up, hurry up. Those of you who are still far away, hurry up. Hey, Georgia, Grace and Leah, what's your name? Walona, Gigi. Thank you. Now, those of you already in front, and those of you are on the way, cry to the Almighty God, say, please save my soul. Have mercy on me. Let your blood wash me clean. I want to ride on the eagle's wings. 
any sin in my life that won't allow me to get on board. Please remove it with your blood. I will serve you for the rest of my life. If you backslide, I say, Father, I'm sorry I backslid. I'm coming back home. Restore me, Almighty. Restore me fully. Go ahead, cry to God. Those of you on the way, I can see you running, but you have to run a little faster. And the rest of us, please, let's stretch our hands towards these people and pray for them. That the Almighty God will save their souls and He will restore backsliders to Himself. Let's pray for them for about two minutes. Hurry up, those of you who are still on the way. Because I'm about to pray for salvation now and restoration. Keep coming. I can see you. Keep coming. I will wait some 10 seconds for you. Thank you, Lord. Keep coming. Keep coming. I can see you running fast. Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. Sure. Just make sure you get there before I finish praying. You will see me all right. Just get there before I finish praying. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Savior, I want to say thank you. I want to thank you for your word. I thank you for all these people who have decided to come forward so that you can cleanse them. Father, please receive them. Wash them clean. Let your blood wash away their sins. Save their souls, Lord. Write their names in the book of life. And Lord God Almighty, I pray for backsliders too that we will take them back. Don't let this your children ever backslide. Uphold them to the end, Lord. And whenever they call on you, please answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, those of you who have come forward, let me hear you shout hallelujah. So the counselors will give you some cards to fill. Because I promise you from now on I'll be praying for you. So I need your name, your so address, and your prayer request. Thank you. Why we wait for them to finish? I think the choir will. Worship God.
Thank you very much. The crucial moment is now. One of the songs rendered says it is a child who lifts up his arms that the mother will carry. Believe me honestly, the Almighty is here now. He's waiting to see who wants to be carried. He's listening to see who's cry. Is going to attract his attention. Already, I appeal to you for the next fifteen to twenty minutes. More As the altar is declared open. I want you to storm the throne of heaven with your prayer. Pray with all your might. Pray with faith. Pray with determination that tonight the great ego is going to pick you up. Is going to notice you as you worship him, as you thank him, and then as you cry unto him, Father, please don't pass me by tonight. Hear my cry. Hear my cry. Hear my cry tonight, Lord. Answer my prayer. I want you to carry me. I want you to carry me. Cry to him. Cry to him. It's not the kind of prayer you pray quietly, cry out to him.
Jesus. Mighty name we have prayed. Ni orukan la Jesu la gbadura. Daddy. Daddy. I thank you. Go do pelo war. For all you've done. Fun gbogbo ti e ti se. This past 38 years. I thank you for your faithfulness. When we were less than a thousand, you were faithful. Year by year, you had been faithful. In spite of all the efforts of the enemies, to stop this program, for years, Causing obstruction on the expressway. That the way that took less than four years to build took more than seven years to repair. But you remain faithful. Thank you, my father. Now, daddy, when I said I wanted a miracle for every member of my congregation, you asked me to gather them. Daddy, Daddy, tonight, I've gathered them again. Over to you. Baba, Over to you. Ever you. My Father, my God, Baba, me at your long room, me. Over to you. Ever yeah. I've shared your word with them. What is your back me or on you, fellow one? To the best of my ability. Get be Moshe Mons or more. But now, to banish and see ye. Over to you. That these people might know that you are the one who sent me. Daddy, over to you. Daddy, carry them. Carry them. Daddy, you said in your word. Daddy, you said in your word. That concerning the works of your hands, that we can command you. I'm actually not commanding you to. I'm pleading. I'm requesting. Montoro, carry these people. Eh 
Egbe awon eyan yi Elijah said Elijah so wi pe Oman Camel ni ori oke Cameli that these people may know that we are the one who sent me that I've done all this at your command and sat by fire yeah. if he not down My father, my God. Papa, me at your At this time, in history, when the world is full of so many false prophets, tonight, so that the world we know. That there are still remnants. We are one country good, no shaku. Answer by fire. Hey, Dawalu, Belina. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Let your children go home flying. Yeah. You are the burden bearer. Carry their bodies. Yeah. Carry their families. Carry their businesses. Carry their ministries. Please, Daddy, carry them. Yeah. My Father, my God. You know I will praise you. I will testify. My Jerry. Please carry these people. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, you can hear hallelujah. You can go back to your seats. Thank you, Father. Bye-bye, Shu. 
If you believe God had heard you, shout hallelujah. 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 All that remains is for us to say thank you to God. Before we begin to go. Then don't forget tomorrow by 11 a.m. There will be laying on of hands here and in the old auditorium. And then in the evening at 7 p.m. There will be Holy Communion and anointing service. Okay. Oshas, thank you very much. Please position the baskets. Echo and Wagmore. Let us give our thanksgiving offering to God. And then we'll have the final blessing. And uh, please, ministers of God, you can. Go from the altar to your residence, please. All right, over to you, Ben. Hallelujah. 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 I will exalt you, Lord. For thou hast lifted me above my enemies, no banner above me, yeah. I will exalt you, Lord, for you have lifted me above all my enemies, no banner above me.
Father, Baba, in your name, Ni Orukore, I bless this your children. Amen. Every one of you, in the morning you'll be blessed. Amen. In the afternoon you'll be blessed. Amen. In the evening you'll be blessed. Amen. In the night time you'll be blessed. And you will be a blessing. From today onward, you will be a high flyer. God will bless your offering. And you will never lack. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oh, thank you, Father. How many of you have a feeling God has already picked you up? I may hear you shout hallelujah. And I decree that the very dress you are wearing now will be saturated with anointing. Amen. Another shout of hallelujah. Hallelujah. 